Greetings. The following presentation is based on a paper done by the Group 2 of the Mechanical Department of Meghna Chai Institute of Technology. The topic is Combined Cycle Power Plant Energy Output Prediction Using Machine Learning. As we approach a new era in technology and uh, the energy industry, we realize that we realize the need for a greener future and that of more efficient systems. Now, machine learning can be implemented very effectively in such scenarios to up the efficiency. When we uh, uh, depend rely on tools like machine learning, which is basically telling us what is happening at, in real time. It makes real world predictions as compared to uh, predictions made by uh, like general thermodynamic calculations. Thus, if we can implement it successfully, it will be a huge boon to the energy industry. In the following presentation, we shall elucidate on how uh, machine learning can give us real world predictions and more accurate results than, than has ever been possible before. Now the engine, sorry. Now the system that we are working on is also is known as a combined cycle power plant. It is basically an assembly of two heat engines, which work sequentially or in tandem from the same given source of heat. The idea is very simple: that the first turbine or the first gas uh, heat engine extracts power, and when the exhaust comes out, it is it has enough heat to run a second turbine, mostly a steam turbine. This setup is far more efficient than a single setup. As for machine learning, machine learning is a modern tool in the arsenal of data analysis. Machine learning can give us real world predictions. This takes data inputs and then computes them and makes its own algorithms to predict uh, what could the outcome be. In this case, that how much energy that is being produced. It has, it comes of various methods that just feature data subset selection, data set, exploratory data analysis and machine learning regression methods. These give us real world numbers as compared to that generated by theoretical thermodynamic uh, calculations. Data exploration is the first step in machine learning. It refers to the process by which analysts use data vis visualization and statistical techniques to describe data set characteristics. It is simply establishing the parameters to be analyzed for creating a model. And in this scenario, we will be basically focusing on four parameters. That is temperature, ambient pressure, relative humidity, and exhaust vacuum. Now, once we have cleaned up our data set and we have set it up, the next step is exploratory data analysis, which is pretty much same as data exploration. In this, we um, it's a process of determining the data what the data can tell us. We can use it to identify patterns, correlations, and anomalies that will help us in analysis. There are a few methods in doing this. There are such as pairs plot, correlation heat map, and Pearson's correlation, as you can see in the given pictures. Here, we have a glimpse at the data that has been collected over the course of six years. And as you can see, the data are in the parameters of uh, ambient temperature, the vacuum pressure, uh, vacuum, and the ambient pressure and so on. Once our data has been cleaned up and the correlation is drawn, machine learning employs various methods to draw up dependencies between the inputs. These methods create algorithms best suited to bring about an extent of these dependencies and the effect of changing these inputs. This is also known as regression and these following methods are, draw, are used uh, to draw various regression models such as random forest regression, linear regression, decision tree regression, and support vector regression. Linear regression is a linear model, which means it works really nicely when the data has a linear shape. But when the data has a non-linear shape, then a linear model cannot capture the non-linear features. So in this case, you can use the decision trees, which do a better job at capturing the non-linearity in the data by dividing the space into smaller subspaces depending on the questions asked. Decision trees are very easy at, as compared to, random, to the random forest. A decision tree combines some decisions, whereas a random forest combines several decision trees. A decision tree is fast and operates easily on large data sets, especially the linear one. The random forest model needs rigorous training, but in our case, random forest is giving a better accuracy. After having gone through several regression models, 
Each model calculated a certain prediction of how much electrical power is generated based on these input values. The accuracy of these predictions are compared among four, among the four, and we get a model which is best suited for the job. In our experiments, we see that the following predictions are given. The random forest regression generates 97.18%, linear regression generates 95.48%, decision tree regression 92.93%, and support vector regression generates a measly 32.1%. From the given data, we can conclude that random forest regression is the most successful regression method and is best suited for the job. In conclusion, we have decided that random tree regression is the best one suited for a job. The process of prediction using machine learning has vastly sped up the process of prediction as compared to that of a theoretical thermodynamical approach. The arduous process of meticulously calculating many, many pages can be brought down to a few lines of code. It has added benefit of being spontaneously applied in real time to monitor real world efficiency, unlike theoretical thermodynamic prediction. And thus, machine learning is the future when it comes to making more efficient systems. With ever worsening environmental conditions around the planet and the demand for energy higher than ever, the need for more efficient systems is of dire urgency. Major industries are already adapting to new environmental sanctions and their alt more alternative fuels and alternative energy sources. However, modern technologies and increasing computational power hold the capability to push these efficiencies to a higher extent and make it even greener. The following paper was an effort at representing the influence modern tech has on uh, such as machine learning over such complicated systems such as CCPP. We of the Mechanical Department of Meghna Shah Institute of Technolo Technology have been motivated by our professors and each other to attempt to educate ourselves about the benefits such as revolutionary technology can have, such revolutionary technology can have on industry, mankind, and more importantly, the environment. We would like to thank our professor, Sir Anirban Bosch, for patiently and meticulously guiding us throughout this paper. We would also like to thank all our peers for their patience and guidance in the paper. The project has been very educational and refreshing, honestly, and we would like to be, we will be sure to use this knowledge in our future endeavors. Thank you.